Dr. Baliga here. This podcast belongs to a group of 10 podcasts on statistics in medicine. These podcasts should give you a solid foundation on this topic. It's derived from an outstanding chapter titled Statistics in Medicine in Baliga's textbook of internal medicine, available at www.mastermedfacts.com. The chapter is authored by Dr. Donna Windish, MD, Associate Professor at Yale University School of Medicine. She is the Associate Program Program Director for the Yale Primary Care Internal Medicine Residency Program. Dr. Windish completed her medical school degree at the University of Connecticut and her internship and residency in New York at the University of Rochester. She went on to do fellowship in general internal medicine at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and obtained her MPH at Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. Dr. Windish has been on faculty at Yale since her fellowship. She is clinically active in both inpatient and outpatient medicine, oversees the research and residency program for the Yale Primary Care Training Program, and teaches medical students and residents biostatistics and how to read medical literature. Multiple choice question. The results of a randomized control trial showed that patients in each allocation group differed in age, but were similar in all other characteristics. What should the researchers do about this in their statistical analysis? They should A. Not do a regression analysis as it was a randomized control trial, which means that all potential confounding factors were randomly distributed. B. Not do a regression analysis, as the characteristics between the groups were essentially similar. C. Do a multiple regression analysis, as they need to control for potential confounding. And D. Do a simple regression analysis, as they need to control for potential confounding. And the answer is C. Do a multiple regression analysis as they need to control for potential confounding. Even though the trial was randomized, some of the baseline characteristics were different and thus should be adjusted for with multiple regression analysis. Thus, randomization alone may not produce an equal distribution of confounders. Simple regression does not control for confounding factors. Regression analysis is a statistical method used to describe the association between one dependent variable and one or more independent variables. It is used to adjust or control for confounding variables. It can also be used to predict or estimate the value of one variable based on the value or values of other variables. A confounding variable of factor is a variable related to one or more of the variables in a study. This variable may mask an actual association or falsely demonstrate an apparent association between the study variables where no real association exists. A variable is a confounder if it is related to the predictor variable and the outcome variable and is not the causal pathway between the two variables. For example, common confounders are age, gender and other comorbidities. For example, in obesity is a confounder in diabetes and heart disease, confounding as obesity is associated with both diabetes and heart disease. Not confounding are as when when heart disease is the causal pathway of diabetes leading to heart failure. When a regression analysis is carried out, all variables of interest are analyzed at the same time. The data output from the statistics package provides the results for each function, that is a variable of interest or confounder, while controlling for all other variables. In other words, even if you're only interested in looking at the effect of diabetes and heart disease, while controlling for other factors such as obesity, age, smoking, gender, etc., The statistical package allows you to see 
how each of the confounders affects the outcome while controlling for other variables. Linear regression analysis is used to quantify the association between one or more independent variables and a continuous outcome that is normally distributed. Depending on the number of factors compared, one can use a simple linear regression or a multiple linear regression. Simple linear regression is a comparison between one independent and one continuous dependent factor or variable. It does not control for potential confounding variables. For example, comparing exercise, which is an independent variable, as it relates to blood pressure, which is a continuous dependent variable. Multiple linear regression is a comparison between more than one independent and one continuous dependent factor while controlling or adjusting for potential confounding factors. For example, comparing exercise as it relates to blood pressure while controlling for age, weight and smoking status. In order to decide what factors to control for in any one type of regression analysis, researchers analyze or control for factors that are A, significant to simple regression analysis and B, are previously known to confound results and C, make sense as confounders. The key point is only multiple regression analysis controls for confounding factors. Simple regression is used to assess which factors are independently associated with the outcome of interest. The outcome for linear regression analysis is a B coefficient. This coefficient is the expected change in an outcome when the predictor variable changes by one unit and other variables confounders remain fixed. For example, the mean change in blood pressure decreased by 5 mm of mercury in the exercise group compared to the no exercise group after controlling for A, gender and other medications. Logistic regression analysis is used to quantify the association between one or more independent variables and a dichotomous outcome. Depending on the number of factors compared, one can use a simple logistic regression or multiple linear regression. Simple logistic regression is a comparison between one independent and one dichotomous dependent factor or outcome. For example, comparing exercise which is an independent variable as it relates to mortality which is a dichotomous dependent variable. Multiple logistic regression is a comparison between more than one independent and one dichotomous dependent factor while controlling for potential confounding factors. For example, comparing exercise as, as it relates to mortality while taking into consideration age, weight and smoking status. Logistic regression results are reported as an odds ratio with a confidence interval. For example, the odds ratio of mortality for subjects who exercised compared to those who did not exercise was 0.35, 95% confidence interval, 0.10 to 0.54. This can also be stated as subjects who exercised had a 65% decreased odds of mortality compared to those who did not exercise. This podcast on statistics in general internal medicine is derived from an outstanding chapter on this topic in Baliga's textbook of internal medicine available at www.mastermedfacts.com. It's authored by Dr. Donna Windish, Associate Professor in Internal Medicine at Yale University School of Medicine.